Outdoors. Gary Wagner here. It is approximately 12 noon in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York City. It is Tuesday, the 7th day of February 2012, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Yes, where did that correction go? That's the question, but I'm sure glad the answer is it does seem gone. I'm going to talk about a revised count and tell you where I think we are in the big picture in terms of gold and silver, all here on today's daily report. We have gold up about $25, $17.44 as you can see currently on the screen. We are over $34 in silver. These markets very quickly turned decidedly and solidly bullish as that buy the dip or bargain hunting mentality stepped into the market. You have the U.S. dollar index. Now that dropped lower. Crude oil pushed up. And we've got a $25 gain on the day in gold. Incredible, incredible move. Now, part of this rally is being attributed right now to... uh, a U.S. Senate statement by Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke, and that happened this morning, and I'm quoting, despite last Friday's stronger-than-expected U.S. jobs report, the U.S. economy remains overall weaker than many realize. And that remark, that remark really pushed the dollar lower vis-a-vis pushed gold higher. Let's get right to the board. We've got an exciting, exciting day here in the market. And here's what we're looking at. There's really two possible counts that I'm going to talk about. But the first count is as follows. Now, in terms of uh, the counts, it's going to be the next one that I'm more comfortable with, but I do want to present both to you, and this way you can be the judge. In either case, of course, we are long this market. We've been long since 1580. We have moved our stops up. Traders that moved their stops up yesterday, they're now below 1706. That was that pivot point I said you want to keep it below, but... My sentiment at this point is we are probably beginning wave five. On this count here, I've got this long wave one. And my belief right now is that it is more likely that this was our conclusion of wave one back right in this area here. We had this very, very small retracement. We can even put that here. And then we had our wave three that propelled us to this recent 1763. And then this last correction, this $20 correction, is going to be four. Let me enter that. This long, I should say two-day correction would take us into four. And now this is a minor subcount, minor subcount. C to one intermediate, and then four to five is major, of course. That would put us at just the beginning of this fifth wave, a five count on our subwave. In other words, the wave count below the intermediate count. Now, the question we then want to know is how can we do some sort of forward forecasting? And my anticipation is realized that wave three cannot be the shortest. It certainly doesn't need to be the longest. And therefore, I've really got to see where I'm putting this one and two. But my sentiment right now in terms of where I think this market could go is the first point we really need to see this market trade beyond is to break above, first of all, 1763. We've got to break above that. That's our first target area. And we can see that we've gotten some areas of resistance there. Of course, the next target is going to be 1802. And the 1802 is really based upon this recent top that we had. This is back October, November of last year. That's the secondary top after the market hit a high of 1920, came down and then came on the secondary top. So these are going to be our target points here. If we have a wave five that's equal to wave one, you're looking at about 1850. That would end 
just this wave number one, we would go into, at that point, some sort of a correction because it's an intermediate two. It's going to be a lot stronger than this sub count here. And then we would go into the third intermediate, fourth corrective, and final five out of five. That should play us out through the year. Exceptional day in the markets, as I say, up around $25 on the day. Now, silver has been performing just beautifully. When we take a look, we talked about the fact the other day that we have this tremendous, tremendous band of support right at $33. You can see that right in here. There's absolutely no doubt. $34.49, that was our top before, and we have not yet taken that out. Once, I should say, and I should say if, but my more likely to say once we take that out, our next real target is going to be based upon these sets of highs here, just below $36, 37 39 and I think that's enough targets to the upside for now. We've got a really strong market. This rally has started last year. It's taken all the way through January. We're now first week of February, and we are still going strong, and we are still long. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Wednesday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye. <music>